In video three of the next steps phase of this training, we take a look at a couple more apps that lend themselves well to getting started with iPads in the classroom. In addition to the Notes app discussed on the last video, the iPad comes preloaded with a camera app and an app called iBooks. Just like the Notes app, the design of these applications is basic and straightforward and requires only a basic level of competency with the device to use. First, let's take a quick look at the iBooks app. iBooks is an e-reader app that allows you to download books and read books from the iBooks store. Through iBooks, students cannot just read text, they can also highlight and annotate passages and then share those notes and passages through email and messages. The students can share their notes and their insights with other fellow students and also with the teacher iBooks lets you make stylistic changes to the text, like adjusting font types, size, and color. iBooks also lets you import, save, organize, and share PDF files. These few features present handfuls of opportunities for meaningful classroom use. First, you can present materials in a format more in line with what students consume on a daily basis. Students consume the majority of their textual information from digital sources. The iPad, again, is more interactive, and it presents materials in a visually stimulating format. iBooks allows teachers to make textual modifications. iPads loaded with iBooks can be used as aids for students with disabilities, everything from the in-app dictionary to font adjustments iBooks can also help classrooms cut down on paper waste by storing and disseminating materials used on a routine basis. Now let's take a quick look at the camera app. The camera app brings decent quality digital video and image capture directly into the classroom and into the hands of the students. With that alone, students and teachers can do many things record presentations for playback at a later time or for review. Students can film science experiments, take pictures for photo essays, act out and record scenes from plays like Shakespeare, document field trips or school events, snap photos of teacher notes from the chalkboard to share, etc. With these apps, we are just scratching the surface. With most apps, the info and the creations from the students are easily shareable and transferable to other apps. In my next videos, we will take a deeper look at a specific app and explore how to implement the technology at a more advanced level.